Well, you've heard of the keto diet or the ketogenic diet, where it's a low-carb, high-fat diet that's supposed to help you lose weight. The idea is to get more calories from protein and fat and less from carbohydrates. But what about a plant-based keto diet? What does that entail and how does it affect your body? And is it right for you? Let's ask the expert. Joining me now is Dr. Natasha Bouillon, National Medical Director of One Medical. All right, this is fascinating yes. to me mm -hmm. for someone who does not know much about the plant-based keto diet. Explain what it is. Well, this is a popular twist on the vegan, you know, the typical keto diet. It's yeah. a vegan twist on that. So essentially, rather than getting a majority of the food sources from animals, people are getting a majority of their food sources from plant-based foods. Mm -hmm. Now, here's why it's tricky. So with the keto diet, there's a misconception that a lot of people just eat lots of animals and bacon yes. and butter. And then with the vegan diet, there's a misconception that people who are vegan eat a lot of starch. Right. And you know, when you think about crossing those two diets, it feels like so there opposite. Is, there's nothing in common. And yes. so this is where there is some commonality. You know, the, the heart of it is the keto diet is mostly actually healthy fats. And so okay. it's really a matter of coming up with where can we get healthy fats that are derived from plant-based products mm -hmm. rather than just animals. Now, here's kind of the rules of the diet. Okay. One of the rules is that 70 percent of the calories that you consume should be from fats. Mm. The other rule is around 25 percent of what you consume should be from proteins. Okay. And here's the really tough part. Yeah. Less than five percent of the calories that you consume should be from carbs. Ooh. And the reason why is if you ma maintain really, really low carbs, your body goes into this thing called ketosis where your body starts to burn more um, of the fat for fuel right. rather than burning glucose for fuel. Okay. And so that's how you, it leads to weight loss. Right. But it's hard to adhere to. Yes, which again, that's kind of the same mentality as just the keto diet, right? Exactly. The low, low carbs, burning that fat. Yes, and like the okay. trick is though, with the keto diet, a lot of people are able to get those uh, those sources from animals. Yeah. And if you look at protein sources for people who are following a plant-based diet, people who follow plant-based, they're like, well, I get protein from greens, right. beans, and grains. Yeah. Well, you can't really do that with keto because there's too many carbs in those foods. Right. And so it's really melding, how do I get enough protein? protein without too many carbs. Right. So let's that goes into the pros and cons, yes, right? Because yeah. we know it's not for everybody. So let's start with the pros. Yeah. So it's not for everybody. I mean, one of the main pros is that it leads to weight loss. So mm -hmm. anytime someone starts this diet, because it's so low in carbs, they oftentimes lose weight right off the bat. So that's right. a big benefit. Of course, if you do a vegan keto diet, the really nice thing is that it's animal friendly. So people right. like that. And then we also know a lot of plant-based diets have great impacts on chronic conditions. Yeah. Decrease heart disease, decrease diabetes, decrease high blood pressure. So we see that with basic vegan diets mm -hmm. and plant-based diets. There's not a lot of research specifically on vegan keto diets, but there is some research emerging. Okay. That being said, there are some cons yeah. as well. I think one of the biggest cons is that it takes a lot of planning, like thinking yeah. about what you need to eat, what follows the rules, what's low in carb. That takes a lot of planning ahead of time. You know, the other tough thing is that it does lead to nutritional deficiencies. When people eat this diet, they can't get enough vitamin D from foods. They have to take a supplement. People can't get enough omega-3 fatty acids. That also requires a supplement. Mm -hmm. Things like B6 and B12. So a mm -hmm. lot of people need to take supplements when they're doing this diet. And then I think ultimately there's a lot of unknowns in terms of research. We don't know what the long-term effects are. Short-term effects, people say they get constipation, but there still needs to be a lot more research on the long term. So that caught my eye with the constipation because I would think that with all the plant-based, lots of fiber, all that, why would you be constipated? Exactly, yeah. Well, so the, the thing is like when you're eating plant-based, you have to also have low sugar foods. And so when you look at things like, okay, I want to eat fruit, fruit is high in fiber. Right. Well, a lot of fruit is also high in sugar. And so you have to think like, I can't necessarily have bananas, but I can have things like berries. And so it's really reaching for the right low sugar foods Ooh. that also have have fiber. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So let's give our folks some examples of low carb nutrient dense food. Yeah. That's exactly what people think about. So when we think about protein, one of the things I tell people, leafy green vegetables, people don't think about that, but things like spinach, kale, those are really great in terms of getting enough protein. Mm -hmm. You have to get creative with protein though. Things like nuts, seeds, sprinkling the food with yeah. nutritional yeast, obviously tofu, tempeh, those are good options for protein. Spirulina is also a nice option. Option. Oh. So it's similar to seaweed. Okay. It has an interesting taste. Yeah. It's an acquired taste, but it is really nutrient dense. Okay. And then like I mentioned before, the low sugar things um, like berries, low sugar fruits. Right. And then here's the kicker, healthy fats. Yes. So searching for healthy fats, that might be, you know, full fat coconut. It might be things, um, 
you know, like avocados, Avocado, yeah. like olive oil. So mm -hmm. it really takes a matter of planning because, you know, one thing fits the rule. It fits one rule, but it doesn't fit the other rule. Mm, interesting. Okay, we could go on and on about this. So interesting. Yeah. All right, now it's